and talk bad about me. I don't want to run you down. I just, uh, you know, I'm just stating that you are the former holder of you the. You didn't uh, win it, Danny Davis. You did not beat me. You are not the champion. He's not the champion. He is the champion. As no, Danny not. correctly stated, I think maybe you forgot the USWA rule that on a disqualification or a technical loss, as it's called now, the belts change hands. I didn't forget nothing. No one told me. It's the only company in the world I've ever seen that's got such a stupid rule like that is to say that you lose the belt on a disqualification or technical loss. Now, Come give me I, a I, break. I don't think there's a single fan out there that would agree with you that it's a stupid rule. I think it's a good rule. I think the fans like it. And uh, it's, uh, it's one of those that probably should have been enforced many, many years ago. No, the see, that rule has always been called, like, what, the champion rule. But that's advantage to the champion because you're supposed to beat a champion, not just qualify. He didn't beat nobody. You're supposed to beat the man, not get a disqualification. What kind of champion is that that didn't even pin me, didn't even get a three count? Well, I think he probably uh, had you on the way to being pinned with that H-bomb. Were you there? Did you see? You, I, I did not see did, it. Okay, oh, you're, you're you, absolutely right. Did I you did see my shoulders pinned in the mat? No, no you didn't. I know they were not no, pinned in the mat because didn't. I know how you lost the belt. Fact is, though, you he don't have it. the belt. Well, the, Whether, it's only a matter of time before I get it back, Dave. You well, know that. You're going to have to win it back in the ring there. And, uh, That's uh, right, and I'll pin him. I'll pin the man to the mat, and then I get my shot at Jimmy Backlund, the world like heavyweight champion, then I'll have two belts. Well, as I say, you do not have the uh, the USWA belt right now. Would you stop saying now. that? So, well, just Dave, out I mean, the everybody truth. heard you about the eighth time. You can stop saying that. Danny Davis, the man in the ring right now, Nightmare Danny Davis, is the holder of that belt. He's going against the superstar Bill Dundee, and as I said earlier, he's really been looking forward to a fine scientific match. But remember, these are a couple of guys that uh, can use whatever tactics they find necessary to win a match. Uh, just yeah, like, like, like having the referee on their side and paying him off for disqualification. No, yeah, no. Uh -huh. yeah, Dave, give me a break. No, what I'm talking about is if they get hit with a fist, they will throw a fist back at you to uh, kind of stay even with you in a match. They are battlers in there. They are also very fine wrestlers. I'm going to take nothing away from either one of them. But what you're going to see here is wrestling. You're not going to see a fist out of these guys because they're both scared of each other. Well... Well, it's, uh, your prediction ability is uh, <laughs> yeah. it's about like, uh, well, like that your knowledge, it's about your knowledge of the uh, USWA rules there, it seems like. Yeah. Uh, there you go again, being smart, yeah. Dave. Well, just pointing out the facts. Ooh, that was a forearm for nah, Danny Davis. Nah, that Danny Davis cheating already. Forearm again. You know, I find it really, really unusual that, uh, and, and it's still hard for me to get used to, you two guys, you and Danny Davis, one of the finest tag teams ever put together in the world of wrestling, and of course uh, split up some time ago, and now you're sitting out here running down Danny Davis just about every move he makes. I'm right? not running him down, I'm just taking back, man. I mean, Danny's nothing without me. Look at where he's at now, he's laying on the mat. Oh, look out, the Memphis right. Mafia hit the ring right here. The dirty white boy. I don't think I'm going to take this, Dave. I mean, I'm going to go take care of a little business myself. Hey, you're supposed to be out here commentating, not in there interfering, Ken Wayne. Ken using the opportunity to jump in there. Oh, here comes Eddie Gilbert. Everybody, Doug Gilbert, Dirty White Boy, Joseph Magli Magliano, and now, look, they're holding him up, and Ken Wayne is beating up on Danny Davis. Oh, my goodness. Meanwhile, Eddie Gilbert is pounding... Superstar Bill Dundee, Sam Bass Lowe is out here at ringside. He's running around the ring, cheering these guys on. What is that, about five or six against two? Oh, Eddie Gilbert declaring victory here for himself and Tony Anthony against Bill Dundee as Anthony was holding Dundee up. And Eddie Gilbert is hitting him. Oh, well, you got... Uh, just as soon not after what I just witnessed you guys weren't even supposed to be out here We had a good match going on and what do you do come out here and interfere in the whole thing Dundee gets uh, Well, no, it stopped altogether. That was a ruling by the referee really nobody to disqualify uh, Dundee should have never been out back there calling us a bunch of names But we've never done that. You know Dave all around the USWA All people are saying it's Bunkhouse Stampede you're looking at two bad men right here, myself and Tony Anthony. When we get in the ring, that bug out stampede. 
All we can do is brawl. All that's got to be is fighting. All we are is fighters. So you know who will come out victorious. Because, baby, you're looking at the best brawlers in professional wrestling today. It's not Jerry the King Lawler. It's not superstar Bill Dundee. No. You want to talk about brawlers? You want to talk about somebody that just out and out beat you up? You're talking about the white boy and dirty stuff. Now, I've seen these two bunch of punks out here that stole our titles. Well, Jeff Jett and Cody, whatever your name is, boy, it's just a matter of time. Because all myself and Doug Gilbert thought about night after night is ever since we've got those titles. Or should I say ever since they stole those titles. That's all we thought about is how to get our belts back. We let hot stuff in and give her down. We let the family down. But I guarantee you, boys, you get ready because we're going to redeem ourselves at no matter what it takes. Jeff Jarrett, Cody, you're going down, and you're going to be looking at the new World Tag Team Champion. That's the dirty white boy, Tony Anthony. Here's the Southern Heavyweight Champion, Eddie Gilbert. I have all the faith in the Memphis Mod. You know what? My mouth's kind of dry right now, Dave. Uh, sweet Georgia, you mind going get me a Dr. Pepper, please? <laughs> he loves me. Sweet Georgia loves Brown, me. yes. I haven't had a woman in so long, and now I have the beautiful Sweet Georgia Brown. Well, Jerry Lawler, Bill Dundee, all oh, you people that think you're king, all oh, you people that run rough shot over all the talent, all the wrestlers that's ever come through here, just look at the top ten. Dave's got it out here with him. Sitting on top at number one is Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. And with all these buckhouse stampedes are over with around the area. Twenty-five thousand dollars to the winner. Thank you for my doctor. This is not doctor Pepper. This is hot water. I what you asked for? No, it's not what I asked for. What would you like me to go and get? No, I don't want you to go get me another one. I'm a, that's uh, come on. Eddie Gilbert, well, it looks like Sweet Georgia Brown is not uh, not following orders completely there, Mr. Gilbert, this week. There they go, the Memphis Mafia, the whole bunch of them. We'll be back here in a moment. Stay with us.